My wife and I have started our road trip throughout British Columbia, up here in Canada. We've been packing in as much riding as we can, and we've made good progress through the province. And while it may seem like these videos are skipping locations, you'll have to look for the other half on my wife's channel, Van Girl Yuka. So moving on from the bike park in Vernon, we continued east, via a ferry, and through the Solcan Valley, riding as we went. And after a bit of relaxation by the lake, we arrived in Castlegar, BC. It's a small town nestled between the mountain biking hotspots of Rossland and Nelson. I'd always driven through here in the past, wondering if there's any biking in the mountains here. Well, it turns out they've been busy, and the building style and culture of the Kootenays is alive and well in Castlegar. But what is that Kootenay style? Well, it tends to be large, shuttleable descents with big free ride style features, all taking place in evergreen forests. In other words, it's awesome out here. Our first destination was Goose Creek Trail. Along with our van life friends, Antoine and Isabel, we're also joined by our friend Ken, who lives in the nearby Nelson. And to maximize the riding we can do in one day, we're going to shuttle up. Except there seems to be a problem? Ah. It turned out the road was washed out and we had to pedal up the rest of the way. The trail started out in the subalpine and soon we were riding beautiful fast flowy trail over rock slab. Scattered throughout the trail were a few smaller features that we took the time to session. The further we went down, the dustier it seemed to get. This would be the introduction to the conditions we had experienced in the area here. It hasn't rained in a while and things are getting pretty blown out. But hey, I guess that means the summer is finally here. The trail was good times, but we were left longing for some of those larger features that the Kootenays is so famous for. So after saying goodbye to Ken, we headed over to a trail called the Awakener, which promised to do just that. Rated double black, I heard it was packed full to the brim with features. And only moments after dropping in, a few features to warm up on. Straight into some woodwork. <laughs> It's all broken, huh? And before long, we had arrived at one of the highlights of the trail. Oh, jumps. A set of seven jumps, with each one getting bigger than the last. Yeah. Doesn't look that bad. Yeah, the first one's been rebuilt. All but one were built with wooden lips, which isn't my favorite. Don't land here. Yeah, don't land here. <laughs> but Antoine was unaffected. Easy. Oh, he just went for it. Yeah, he did everything. Eventually, I got the first three jumps sorted out. The jump after the corner caused me some issues. The burn before the fourth jump had lost its burminess, and I wasn't confident I had the speed for the jump. But Antoine? Well, he's filled with confidence. In fact, he got to the even bigger fifth and sixth jumps as well. <laughs> the seventh, however, is 30 feet. But I could roll through it fairly easily, though. <laughs> the next set of features weren't quite as extreme. A super long set of skinnies. Go a little faster, go a little faster, go a little faster, go a little faster. <laughs> Sweet! 
and even Yuka got into the game using her sitting technique. Easy. Easy? Yeah, it was easy for you, wasn't it? Not really, I was the moment. You had a moment? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see. Your helmet looks a bit stupid. Ah. And down lower, a few more jumps. <sighs> but there are a few features in this forest that even Antoine wasn't into. Oh! Big old drop. Oh, that, that's got to be in like some uh, mountain bike film. A 12 inch wide skinny to a 10 foot drop onto a short wooden lander. Ooh, it is high. It's pretty slow speed too. People are riding it though. You can see marks on the boards. It definitely takes a special kind of rider to hit something like this. The next feature also took a special kind of rider as well. Oh, here we go. It's a little sniper, but it should be okay. That step up, I'm not so sure about that though. Oh yeah, it's maybe not that bad. From here it looks kind of lippy. But as it turned out, Antoine is that kind of special rider. Oh. Oh, sick. I'm not quite as special as Antoine, but I did get the drop before the step up. Just below Awakener was a trail called Dirty Dreams. A steep, loose, sandy trail and generally good times. Down on the road, I spotted a slab. And you know me, I can't pass up a good slab. The next day, we went to go check out the most popular riding area in Castlegar. Mary Creek. I had heard a lot about this place and now it was finally time to try it out. So with Ken, Jonathan and Yuka along for the ride, we climbed up Mr. Green Jeans to Captain Kangaroo. Uh, they're both named after characters from a children's TV show. <laughs> Anyhow, apparently Captain Kangaroo knows how to build them. This trail is sweet. A bunch of natural single track with not much in the way of features, but oh boy, is it ever fun! The speed you could pick up on this natural terrain just made it so fun. Big old skinny. Oh, hello, sorry. There's uh, three more. The bottom section of the trail is brand new, and as we dropped in, we were hit by a rain shower. Ooh. Rain! Ooh. <laughs> Which made for some interesting conditions. The walk stop's getting wet. The dirt remained dusty, but the rock slabs were wet. Oh, it's dusty. Whew. Holy crap. Uh, dusty dirt to wet rocks. Uh. Uh. Ooh. Straight down, huh? Okay. Oh, that was rad. 
For our next lap at Mary Creek, the rain had stopped and we had dropped into Hill Mary, a blue run, which started out with a giant skinny. Ooh, they really do seem to love them out here, which I'm in total agreement with. Nice skinny. The trail was mostly fast single track like Captain Kangaroo. The one standout feature was this. Ooh, oh. You can't roll it. A slightly surprising drop to wall ride. <laughs> it's a good thing I uh, looked because... <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. It's not much, but it's enough. It's a fairly easy feature that's just a good amount of fun. And in the end, we all managed to get it. Nice one. But the real showpiece feature of the mountain is on the double black Crazy Mary, a pair of step ups. Gap jump. Should we go take a look? Oh, it's just there. I'm pretty sure I can do this one. This one's pretty chill. Ooh. Oh, yeah. The first was actually pretty easy, and it's up to you on how far you want to send it. But directly after is another, much bigger one. It was a little above my pay grade, but hopefully one day I can convince myself to do it. Maybe I just need the right person to tow me in. Surrounded by the mountain bike hotspots of Rossland and Nelson, I always wondered why the trail map in Castlegar looks so empty. But it seems they've been quietly building a way over the years, cutting in world-class trails. From classic fast single track, to those big stunts you see in the magazines. They seem to have a bit of everything. It seems like Castlegar has a bright future in the mountain bike scene, and I can't wait to see what they come up with next. I'll definitely be back. But, as always, thanks for watching and stay gnarly.